students or new lawyers, they have to prepare before they embark on legal professions careers in Malaysia. Recently, I had just uh, attended the long call ceremonies for my second student in my life. In Malaysia, actually, it is not easy for you to be qualified to be a master for your pupils. You at least have to practice for continuously for seven years. For me, actually, it's quite a long time because when the words continuously, it means that within these seven years, there's no way for me to cease practice. Once you cease practice, it means that everything is has cease itself and I have to continue the journey again for seven years. feels that I really encourage those law students if let's say you're still studying in any way please do your internship as soon as possible during your vacation you can make use fully make use of your vacations periods goes to different types of legal firms and leave different areas of law so during your fourth year or three years in your degree program at least you will know that what kind of legal career you want to build in and what area of law you are interested in Expose yourself during unit terms and I didn't call you to rush for it but I found that it's really a good thing. Uh, I can compare the students who come to my firm, those who used to expose in many legal firms and those who never expose legal firm when they attended their pupillage, I can see the difference. Even though they are fast learners. But the thing is I found that they really couldn't really steadily know that what actually they want. They never visualize what kind of legal journey they are embarking themselves after Cordoba. So if you are very confused with the direction and you always think that I want to expose more or explore more, it is not that easy because nine months of chambering period, you yourself have already been confined yourselves in one legal firm. So you don't know what kind of external factors and inner factors is the most important thing you need to outweigh that which legal firm you want to join after chambering period or you want to be retained in the same legal firm. So when many student companies say that I want to go to other legal firms, I want to explore more, I want to expose more, when I ask them the same question, then what actually the area of law you want? What kind of legal firm you want to go? Most of the time they will say, I really don't know. That is why I make up decisions. I want to walk out from your firms. I really want to go and expose and explore. To me, when we look at other students, who law students who really expose themselves, explore around a lot during internship, they themselves will know that what area they want to go through. At the same time, during chambering, they even will come and discuss with me that what they are actually interested with. So from here on, you will know specific area and what kind of area you want to specialize with. So the first point is mainly about what kind of areas you are going to indulge or specialize with before you started your pupillage. And the second thing I may feel that it is much better during your internship, you can go to expose different types of legal firms in your hometowns or in another city. What I say so, first and foremost, you can go to like our KL capitals and at the same time you go and expose what kind of working life they have had during your internship. This is very important. You need to know that whether you are able to fit in or not to fit in that kind of culture. Some of them will have a culture shock after they left the university. They, left they felt it's very stressful in a big city. That is why they really couldn't concentrate during their population. And many of them cease practice after they straight away call to bar. So I may find that we spent around 20 over years of education just to obtain a professional cert. So if you give up easily, it's a waste. Because you have yet really fully utilized what you know, you have yet to really uh, go in deep on this legal profession and why you make up a conclusion or decision so fast yet you are still very young so i forget when i say different types of legal firm is not based on geographical only it's also based on the size of that particular legal firm big size medium size and small size and why don't you try all during your university times uh, when you are almost finished your course at least you are able to know that what kind, of, what kind of legal firm I'm going to join for my pupillage? The size of the legal firm that you are going to expose with. Large, medium and small, for sure different size of the legal firms, the way they handle the files, the way the customer that they walk in into their legal firm might be different. So you need to know that which 
what kind of customer is the customer you are more easily to handle with, you feel more comfortable with and whether you are able to equip their needs at the same time that you feel patience on that particular working environment. More or the less, even though every single legal firm they may have a little bit of differences in their culture and everything, but based on the size of the media firm, the system, the environment given, more or less will be the same. So if let's say you are so keen to work in a big firm, you have a lot of big dreams, you like the system that it is impossible, you want to make yourself, to squeeze yourself in a small firm that you found that it is so uncomfortable for you and you will be easily burnt out yourself and feel you want to give up. So choice to me is something important. You have to know that what you want and what you can really give in in that particular situation so most of the students right they don't really know the direction once they come in they may find that ah oh, this legal firm i really dislike i prefer my previous firm i prefer this i prefer that it's not about the preferences it's about what what actually is you really suitable with able to suit your butts only you sit in to me, external factors that they always mention, which they always feel uncomfortable for those young lawyers or students, is basically I found that they don't even know that what they want and what they don't want, uh, and what kind of legal firm they want to enter before they start their privilege. Okay, after geographical size of the legal firm, area of law, come to the fourth point. You still have to equate something in your inner self. Why? Because after 9 months traveling, or maybe in some of them will be quite quick after internship or whatsoever, they already well equipped the inner self of themselves. Why? Why? Because in this legal profession, I always tell my friends around that IQ only stands around 30% and EQ stands about 70%. Many students come to me, they will just say, Foreign, I think that family law is not good enough. I found that the exposure you know, in, your, in your legal firm is confined in a very small area. And my question is, actually, what kind of lawyers do you want to be? Pupilage period. I think after I mentioned about the tips above, it's sufficient enough for you to feel lesser regret for those who are going to choose the place for them to have their privilege or a new place for them to start up their legal profession practice place. First and foremost, once you know about the location, at least you won't feel like regret to coach in the gym or the towns. And the second thing is, once you know about what area you want to specialize with, at least you won't complain to the boss saying that I feel so dull to do civil litigation. I don't think I expose enough in intellectual properties law. If you will sell, because you know why, you already know that what you want before you choose the firm, before you go for interview. And the third thing is, let's say you already know about the size of the legal firm that you are going to join with. Very friend will say that you don't have this type of stress and that I do not like the buildings and collection system that have had in a medium firm. You can always choose any small size firm outside your house. So that's the things that I found that it's a lot of complaints and a lot of things from the external factors. It's not because the firm or the culture is not good right now. All the while is basically you yourself do not know that what actually is one and what actually you do not want. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh.